Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for the Feast of St. James the Apostle, July 25th, 2022. I am Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to recognize that we are in God's presence. Let us begin as we begin all our prayers in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. As he was walking along, Jesus saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, and he called them. Our first psalm is Psalm 63, entitled, A Soul Thirsting for God. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you. Like a dry, weary land without water, so I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, creator of unfailing light, give that same light to those who call to you. May our lips praise you, our lives proclaim your goodness, our work give you honor, and our voices celebrate you forever. As he was walking along, Jesus saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, and he called them. Immediately they left their nets, and their father and followed him. Our canticle this morning is taken from Daniel, entitled, Let All Creatures Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Immediately they left their nets and their father and followed him. You shall drink from the cup that I shall drink from, and you shall be baptized as I am baptized. Our second psalm is Psalm 149, entitled, The Joy of God's Holy People. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's son exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let Israel rejoice in you, Lord, and acknowledge you as creator and redeemer. We put our trust in your faithfulness and proclaim the wonderful truths of salvation. May your loving kindness embrace us now and forever. You shall drink from the cup that I shall drink from, and you shall be baptized as I am baptized. Our reading this morning is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. You are strangers and aliens no longer. No, you are fellow citizens of the saints and members of the household of God. You form a building which rises on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him the whole structure is fitted together and takes shape as a holy temple in the Lord. In him you are being built into this temple to become a dwelling place for God in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed among us today, whose feast we celebrate, is St. James the Great, Apostle from the first century. St. James called the Great in distinction to an, another Apostle and his brother John, the sons of Zebedee were fishermen in Galilee when they responded to a call from Jesus, left their nets and followed. With Peter, they are cited as witnesses to many of the great moments in the gospel, including the transfiguration and Jesus' agony in the garden of Gethsemane. Jesus called them Boanerges, or sons of thunder, perhaps a comment on their temperaments. On one occasion, when a town of Samaritans failed to offer a proper reception, they suggested calling down fire from heaven to destroy it. Jesus rebuked them. The Son of Man came not to destroy souls, but to save them. On another occasion, the brothers asked Jesus for a favor, that when he should come into his glory, they might be seated, one on his right hand and the other on his left. Jesus asked if they were willing to drink the cup of his suffering. They replied that they were. James was among the first of the apostles to follow his master in death. He was beheaded by King Herod Agrippa I. Legends later associated him with Spain, where he either preached sometime between Pentecost and his death, or where his body was later buried at the shrine of Santiago de Compostela, to this day one of the most popular sites of Christian pilgrimage. This is a quote from Acts chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church, and he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. Our responsory, you have made them rulers over all the earth. You have made them rulers over all the earth. They will always remember your name, O Lord over all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You have made them ru rulers over all the earth. Our Canticle of Zechariah. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John and led them up a high mountain where they could be alone, and he was transfigured before them. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior born of the house of a servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord, prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John, and led them up a high mountain, where they could be alone, and he was transfigured before them.
our intercessions. Beloved friends, we have inherited heaven along with the apostles. Let us give thanks to the Father for all his gifts. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for the banquet of Christ's body and blood given us through the apostles, which refreshes us and gives us life. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for the feast of your word prepared for us by the apostles, giving us light and joy. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for your holy church founded on the apostles, where we are gathered together into your community. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for the cleansing power of baptism and penance that you have entrusted to your apostles, through which we are cleansed of our sins. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Our response, God, in your love, provide for our needs. God of love, you call us to live your gospel and proclaim your saving word. In company with your apostle James, we pray. God, in your love, provide for our needs. For fishermen, seafarers, maritime workers, and business owners, we pray. God, in your love, provide for our needs. For parents, guardians, social workers, and shelter staff, we pray. God, in your love, provide for our needs. For immigrants, refugees, migrants, and political exiles, we pray. God, in your love, provide for our needs. For all those caught up in violence, remembering especially the people of Ukraine, that in this time of fear and conflict, they may know God's presence and peace, we pray. God, in your love, provide for our needs. For a swift end to the COVID-19 pandemic that afflicts our world, that our God and Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us to persevere in faith, we pray. God, in your love, provide for our needs. For Sacred Heart Catholic Church, for our priests, deacons, parish ministers, parish staff. For Sacred Heart Center, for all those who donate their time, talent, and treasure to our parish, but especially for all of our parishioners and those of our parishioners who may either be ill or who have passed away. We pray, God, in your love, provide for our needs. Let us now say the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray to his Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us, us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty Father, by the martyrdom of St. James, you bless the work of the early church. May his profession of faith give us courage, and his prayers bring us strength. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May God bless us with wisdom and insight to know the hope to which we are called in Christ Jesus. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed week. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other, and may God be praised.